We had so much fun the other day on the channel flying three RCs in one video. I thought, let's do that again, except we're just gonna do two today. Uh, these are very cool Arrows planes. This is the new Arrows Viper, and this is the Arrows Sabre, or Saber. I have to say it in every video, it's Sabre. <laughs> this is a 3S EDF, although everybody keeps telling me to fly it on 4S. Uh, I just have a higher C discharge battery for today's video, and this is a 4S EDF. Abby, you've actually flown this. <laughs> Let's all blame Nate in the comments for that one. Flare, 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 flare. Good save, oh. good save. I knew I was getting low before Nate said to do a roll, and that's why I was asking, how long have I been in the air, Nate? It was my fault. And then you were like, don't throttle down anymore. And I was thinking, I didn't. And then I, I was like, it. this is not going to be good. And then it just cut out, and you were like, more throttle. I heard it. There was no throttle to... I heard it die. To give it, that's it. Which is why the nose is so crunched in. <laughs> I flew that. We, I think we both, yeah, we both have, yes. Was I pregnant? Might have been pregnant. Because I have no memory of that. Pregnant. <laughs> we're gonna put these in the air today. Unfortunately, we're not as blessed as yesterday with that calm wind. We've got some wind today, but that's okay. We can put these in the air with a little wind, no problem. So let's put them in the air and see how they do. Giant spider, look at that. So fast. He wants to go for a ride. Okay, let's see if these hand launches go as good as the last ones you had. What's up? All right, first one was good. I think I found the secret sauce. You found the sauce, huh? Well, it's just a really high discharge battery. So this is a 3S battery, but uh, they're 120C. <laughs> it might as well be 4S. <laughs> it definitely helps with that extra punch. And remember, this is a little 3S jet, so you wouldn't think it'd have that much power, but I really like this airplane. It is a very, very good budget EDF. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm blinded. Woo -wee. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> and it's because I'm flying in flight stabilization, so my bank angle was limited. That's full bank. That's the nice thing about these Aeros jets is they come with a vector flight stabilization. You plug it into, in this case, I still have it on the fifth channel, even though we're only using four total channels, and you just assign it to a switch. Now for me, that is already assigned to channel A by default. And so I just flip the switch and I've got flight stabilization on and off. I think that all of them should be that simple, yet they're not, uh, this one is. Any of these arrows vectored things are. So we're fighting some wind for sure, but we're gonna turn that off and start flying a little more aggressively. That was nice. I like having a little bit more control over the plane, but every now and then it's nice to have that flight stabilization. And we don't have rudder, that's our downside. Still have a lot of fun with it. So the reason we're featuring so many arrows things on the channel this week is because they have these awesome sales going on. And so why not let you guys know about them? They're already great planes. But uh, if you get them cheaper, then that's really cool. If you get them cheaper because you're watching our video, then awesome too. So it'll be linked in the description box below. It's, they're already good budget airplanes compared to a lot of things that are on the market, but you're not, you're not getting a loss of quality here. Okay, it's very, very high quality. I put this together and I kid you not, Abby saw me do it. She's putting out Christmas decorations. I had this together in 10 or 15 minutes. It's just four screws. A little bit of glue to hold those wing tip, uh, all the wing tips on, and a little bit of glue for the rear horizontal stabilizer. We're definitely flying about as budget as it gets right now for high quality. I've got my Spectrum radio, the newest one that's uh, 300 bucks even. That's the cheapest one they've had out. Still seven channels in a long time for the, you know, the NX series anyway. It's got the Wi-Fi and all that stuff that you would want. And I'm flying a nice budget airplane it's actually on sale, so it's even cheaper. Uh, best time to buy it. I have a budget receiver in here, and then my batteries. I've got these new Z packs, and like I said, they're 120, 120C. They are very high performance batteries. And this is a 1300 milliamp recommended battery EDF, but I'm flying on a 2200. That's because the performance is there, and I'm not having to compensate anything, but I'm gaining a ton of extra flight time. So, love that love that. Do a couple maneuvers out here, maybe a nice clean loop if we can. Nose is in the wind. There's full throttle. Not very clean. It's still there. 
We're at three and a half minutes. Okay. On the 2200, I'm not too worried about flight time really bad, but we'll probably land it here in a minute or so. That wind is nasty and yes, I apologize it for it, but you know, in real life, it's not so bad. In the camera YouTube world, we did everything we can to dampen that wind noise. Apologize for it. It's just something I can't really, can't really do much else about just because it's that windy. I think it's really cool that this can fly in so much wind, but it's also very beginner friendly. So check this out, flip it upside down, kick the switch and it kicks it back over. That maneuver, that fast snap that it did uh, was on its own. And so it's, as I said, beginner friendly because you have flight stabilization. If you panic and you keep your hand on that switch, that can definitely save you. And so that's really cool. Let's try to bring it in for a smooth-ish landing. It's gonna be very challenging in this crosswind today. I think I'm gonna land it in the grass away from us, just because that's the direction it's coming in. Okay. So, ah, man. Yeah, that's probably my best bet. A little bit of a walk to get it, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I just touched the asphalt. Oh my gosh. How's it look on the bottom? Oh. Yeah, can't like even tell. nothing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely nothing. So, uh, it's, I don't know. I think it just, I think it was more lift. It was almost just like a little tap. I think I still had lift under the plane. So, blowing my head off the wind. Let's switch planes. Now, who else has a secret weapon that could pull the receiver out and just pop it right into another airplane without having to change tape or re glue that down? Nate does. I do. It's in the description box. <laughs> Now, this is a more powerful EDF. This is 4S, and today I'll be running a 4S 120C uh, Z Pack. These will be linked in the description box below. The website where we've got them, if you buy the dual pack, makes them a little bit cheaper, but actually about half the price of some of the batteries that I've been flying on a lot lately. I like their performance, but remember they're just standard LiPo batteries. So you still have to manage them safely, right? <clears throat> Which is not that hard to do. You just wanna storage charge them if you're not gonna use them for a long period of time. But the high performance on the 3S has me really pumped to try them out on this 4S setup. So uh, it's strapped in, it's a 2200 milliamp. This Sabre, Sabre, can fly on, I think it's at a 2800 milliamp, but I just love 2200, that's my favorite size. That's also a recommended size for it. This has a steerable nose wheel and a rudder, whereas the others that we were flying do not, and we have flaps, and of course landing gear. So there's quite a bit of extra plane to be had here between the steering wheel, the flaps, the rudder, and then 4S capabilities. But we still have our vectored flight stabilization in here. So just a big upgrade from the other stuff I've been flying on the channel over the last day or so. I've been flying so many hand launchers. This feels like a special treat, Abby. <laughs> flight stabilization's on, and I can already tell this thing has way more power than the 3S things I've been flying. Here we go. Full throttle. I love this EDF. I absolutely Shoot, love it. It's punchy. It. it really eats up the sky. It's been a little while since I've flown it, so it's a nice treat to be out here flying it today. I took off without flight stabilization on, but it does have it, so we'll throw something at you here in a minute uh, with it. Yeah. So I think this snaps. No, it doesn't. Wow, that stayed upright for a long time. Right. Do that again. That was wild. Okay. Yeah, that was a fun model maneuver. Let's build up the speed and climb it up and do that again. Okay, like this. Ha -ha. It takes forever to fall. Yeah. Wow. Oh, silver bullet. That is cool. Oh my gosh, why am I struggling to film you? I just kind of let it do the hammerhead. That's a, that's basically a hammerhead. If you I, sort of if you point the nose up and then throttle off and then try to keep the nose up and let it flip back over, kind of like <laughs> a hammerhead. I think, I think that actually just is a hammerhead, so <clears throat> we'll run her over this time, go sideways. Nope, didn't do it. <laughs> very cool, very cool. The only thing it's lacking really would be like retracts, but you know, for the price point, you really can't complain. Let's get it upside down and then I'll kick the flight stabilization on and just see if it's working right. It's upside down, flight stabilization snapped it right over, you saw that. Now we're finally losing that wind. With flight stabilization on, it's 
see if I can get maybe a little bit of a touch and go here. A wild angle. There we go. Flight stabilization off, and we'll roll it out of that climb. Climb it straight up. And that's power for you. This is a very powerful EDF. I like it. It actually comes with uh, detachable fuel tanks. I didn't bring those today. I think it flies way better without them. Flying a lot of vertical today, aren't I? That was a cool little... Very, yes. <laughs> You're hard yeah. to film today. Yeah, sorry. We'll it's do a loop right. out here. This just has the power of the punch. It feels like it has more weight to it. The other ones are much lighter, but you get that extra cell in there and then the extra gear, and it definitely adds the weight to it. And I'm in love with this 120C <laughs> 4S battery. It's really nice. Let's bring this in with full flaps and show you guys nose into the light breeze that we have now. See, we should have just started our day a half hour later and we'd have had almost no wind. <laughs> I do really enjoy flying this a lot. Uh, it's just a good casual 4S head turner. And I think the reason I like it is this right here. Check out that silhouette when it's sideways. Isn't that just the best? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yes. It's a flying arrow. Check it out, guys, over this way. This way. Look over there. <laughs> Can I point the arrow to the like button? That means I'd be crashing. That's the bottom right of the screen. So let's try to... Okay, everybody. Can you... Hit right down there. Like the video. Like the video. <laughs> It's pointing to the light, right? Yeah, I did my best to put it there for you. <laughs> That's so nice, the roll. It's not a dirty roll either. Watch this, Abby. Watch how much elevation we lose on that. I just put in just a tiny touch of down elevator when I do that, and I feel like I could just roll this thing forever. I've not done that before. That was really fun. That was three. That was really cool. Just screams. Well, I like rolling this. <laughs> You're at four and a half. Okay, we don't want to eat it up too much more, but that's just fun to fly. I feel like I could just fly this all day. Because I could. But let's bring it in for a landing, see if we can make it nice and smooth, because we don't want to lose our battery today. Ease off on the throttle. It's so fast we'll go full flaps and just see if we can bleed off all that speed over the runway. Get it down and just... There we go. That was nice. Oh, it's so nice. Thumbs up. Stop it right in front of us here. What a great EDF. I, I love flying this every single time. It might not look like much. I don't know. You probably have to just like this in general to think it looks cool. But man, it flies great. Personally, I have my most fun in RC when I'm flying something of quality or driving something of quality, but it's not something that has just broke the bank, okay? Sure, the maximum adrenaline rush for me is when I've got Ali Machinchi's son's $30,000 jet, okay? But I could not afford to fly that on a daily basis. You know his son has a name, right? Well, Zabby, <laughs> Zabby. <laughs> but for me, and I, I say this stuff, and I don't know if people believe me or not, I know some guys do, those little bang good things we do sometimes, they're like 80 bucks or cheaper even sometimes when they're on sale. You know, I really enjoy flying that because I know if I crash it, first of all, it's probably gonna survive the crash, but secondly, I'm out way less money if I crash that. So I like things that are affordable, but still you get some performance and some technology and quality out, out of it. And I think that's where the Aeros brand shines. They are very much still a very high level of quality of RC. And you'll know that, you'll see that, you'll feel that when you open the box and you assemble the plane. It's very high quality. Stuff like, you know, Dynam, you gotta get the rubber bands, the tape, the glue, the screwdriver, everything out to hope and pray that thing is held together and makes it back in one piece when you fly it. Something like this you assemble in less than an hour because the level of quality is just there. And this week, we are here to tell you that they, at least are supposed to be, having a Black Friday sale. If they're not yet today, just keep an eye out over the next week or so, because it's supposed to be happening, okay? That's all I can tell you. Communication is kind of difficult sometimes, so just know that. I like this brand. I think it's worth every penny at full price, and there's a sale supposed to be happening now or around the corner. And we've got links in the description box below where we've got all the cool stuff. We've got this plane, that plane. We have our secret weapon that's holding my receivers in, my 
new favorite budget batteries, the radio I'm flying on today, all the good stuff that you've seen in this, and people even ask me about my shoes. Those will be linked in the description box too. They're very cool airplane shoes. And one more thing you'll see down there linked is AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. The reason we talk about it so often, especially now, is because so many people are flying and recording their videos and doing not so smart things and then posting those online. I think if they were flying with AMA, they would probably not do that. They, that would mean they would be a self-educated person and know that what they are doing is bad for the industry. You think that Freya, Remote ID, and all this stuff gets you fired up, well, you're not, you don't need to thank the RC sailors for that because we fly here with permission. We're doing what we're supposed to do. We're legal. We've got AMA's permission. We have permission to be here from the whole gang that runs this place. But you got guys out there that are posting idiotic things and, and the government and other people are seeing those stupid things and cracking down on all of us that fly the way we should. So represent the hobby so that it doesn't, in a good way, so that it doesn't ruin it for everybody else, please and thank you. And at least look into the AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's linked in the description box below. Now, it was when we only started, but it's nice and calm now. And I got to have a blast on my Sabre. And just in general for today, it's been a great day. It's just been fun. Nice little, you know, well, the daughter got sick today, actually. You know, it's not, it's not a perfect day, but it's been a good day overall. And I just want to say thanks. Uh, Big thanks to God for blessing us with just life today. I'm very grateful. And on the subject of gratitude, I wanna say a massive thank you to our Patreon supporters because without your support, we wouldn't be out here in front of the camera, especially as often as we bring this free content to the world. Because we have Patreon support, it keeps fuel in the tank, it keeps the batteries charged, it motivates us to come out here to give free content to the entire world. So I encourage you guys to think about signing up for Patreon as well. We had a great time in yesterday's video flying three different Aeros planes. So if you like these, but you're still curious about Aeros quality, if you like flying budget, high level things, we'll have that video popping up just for you right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.